So right now, when you walk into the house from the front porch, you walk straight into the living room. And then to the right of the living room is where all the bedrooms are, and you have a main suite and a second bedroom and bath. To the left of the living room is a dining room, and to the right of that is a small kitchen and powder room. And in the back of the house, you have this massive sunroom addition. MJ and Andrew bought the house for 160,000, and it's just under 1,800 square feet, and it's got two bedrooms and two and a half baths. MJ and Andrew have been searching for the right house to buy for a while, and they almost pulled the trigger on a big old house in Bates Hendricks, but decided instead to spend the money on their wedding in Italy. And I'm actually glad they waited to buy because the house they found is a bit more budget friendly. Super cute. And I, I love, I love the front door. Really? Yes. Oh, not the color, not right? Not the color. I love yeah, solid wood. wood. I love it. I don't like the carpet. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, me either. Why don't you like the carpet? Because it just got laid down on top and it's not even attached? It's just, it doesn't scream you guys to me. So we want to have this as like a living room, we think? So, so opening up some walls. Yeah. Ideally, I was wondering if maybe all of this could just go. The floor plan and the layout of the house, I don't think it's working. The house right now when you walk in seems really claustrophobic. Every room is sectioned off by a wall or a door. Because we like to entertain, it would be great if everything was opened up and we could interact all the time. I would ideally like the house to be like 80% entertaining space and space for guests and hosting. So this room is scary because we're working with like four different materials under the and rug. And heights. Yeah, and yeah. multiple heights. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. God. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it hideous? Oh, that's so funny. That is yeah. some thick. Flooring. That's like three quarters of an inch. It's built to last, Mina. Is this a wood burning fireplace? Mm -hmm. It's you don't, cute. You don't yeah. want to convert it to gas? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. So this. What's on the other side of the door? <laughs> yep. <laughs> don't look at this. It's a booby trap. I was like, why is the door not opening? It's to keep the door shut. There's you gotta a, keep the a, a five gallon bucket of mud <laughs> tied to a room. Under siege. <laughs> Mina goes to open the door next to the fireplace, and they've put a five gallon bucket full of I don't know it's what. It's like drywall mud. Yeah, something. It's heavy, and they've tied it to the back side of the door. So when you try and open the door, the bucket tips over a little, but it pulls the door shut right away. So squirrels can't push their way through. And there is an easier way to do that. Just a latch. You don't need, yeah, you just, just need latch. a latch on the front. That's it. Let's take a look at this back room. This room's incredible. Holy cow. Yeah. Let's talk about how amazing <gasps> this is. Yeah. The sunroom was a huge selling point for this house, and we definitely fell in love with it after seeing it. We just want to make the space ours and have a warm, cozy place to host guests. So this room, I envision being like our hosting space. Yeah. I picture our giant table here, big comfy chairs, a record player, okay. some kind of vintage fireplace. I would like to have a fireplace in every room. Can you put that on wood floor, or would we have no, to we build have to a put little thing out under? Yeah, put concrete on so the floor. So that's what I want. We would love to take the wood up, because it's concrete under this wood. So you bought this house for 160000 and with your renovation budget of 60000 I think the house will end up being worth about 230000 when it's done. We've been saving up for this house for quite some time, and I think it really has a lot of potential. And since this is our first home reno together, I just really want it to be special. Yeah, I want it to be special too, but we have a limited budget, and we need to try to stay somewhat within that budget. You're going to live here while the construction is being done? Unfortunately, yes. We sure are. So you're prepared to do your dishes in the bathtub? Yep. They are living in the house, which no one should ever be living in the houses that we do typically. <laughs> um, and so we, we need to do it quickly yes. so they don't kill us and MJ quit. Because I need him to do other projects. <laughs> I will see you in the office in a bit. Absolutely. Um, have fun at work. I will. <laughs> We're going to get started yesterday. Yeah, right? yeah. perfect. Can't wait to see the finished product. We got the good yes. There's our boys. Oh. Woo. Hi -ho. Where's our energy? Come on, boys. It's, uh, it's back home in bed. Yay! This place looks like it's in great shape. What are we doing here? <laughs> this is MJ's house, so don't break it. There's some walls that are coming down. We're opening up the whole like main space. The whole kitchen's getting gutted. All the carpeting that you see, that can come up. I'm ready to get to work. It's it real sounds cool. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. All right. People pay to go in rooms and just do this. Corey's having a good day. So much fun.
some thick old floor. The wood floors in the sunroom aren't the right size or type of wood to reuse in the main living space, but we'll salvage what we can to use on another project. Nope, it's all OSB. So we might need to look into other stone and tile options for flooring, which unfortunately may be outside of MJ and Andrew's budget. All right. All right. So, Sunday's house. Okay. Now that we've taken down the wall separating the kitchen, we'll have an open concept living space. In the back wall, we're gonna have an L-shaped kitchen with a big island in the middle, perfect for entertaining. Our construction crew has been hard at work at MJ's, installing new headers in the kitchen and living room to open up the space. The real showstopper in the kitchen is the matte black stone on the massive island, which will be perfect for entertaining. The team's also installing new hardwood flooring to match the existing flooring in the living room. And Mom and MJ have finally finished up the painstaking process of removing the paint from the fireplace, brick by brick. The flooring in the center room is going down and it almost looks like a modern concrete tile, which is exactly what MJ wanted. And outside, we're taking the traditional windows and shutters and giving them a modern update by painting them black and gray. And the red brick is getting an update, which will give the exterior a cleaner, more updated look. MJ's using a lime wash, which will add character and age to the house. The brick looks more distressed, like it's been around for 100 years. So I heard that we're putting in some sort of breakfast nook? This is a true story. And inside, MJ has come up with a budget-friendly DIY project to add a little modern flair to the kitchen by using a table he already has and enlisting Corey and Mom's help to build bench seating for his breakfast nook. Andrew has been out of town on a work trip for the last week and he gets back tomorrow, so we have the next 24 hours to get the house completely ready. He's been so patient through this whole renovation, so I really want to wow him tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so ready to get back in my house. <laughs> Are you ready? Well, here's the house. Oh. Holy cow, look at that. Do you love it? I love it. Would you like your house back? Let's go see it. <laughs> I think you're gonna love it. Oh my God. Wow. How pretty are your built-ins? Those built-ins are amazing. I think it really makes the room. Yeah. Like before it was just this blank canvas. <laughs> Look at this. So we didn't obviously change the footprint or anything, but where the furniture is, nice, like, gentle, soft coat of paint. I absolutely love the side tables. Uh, where did you find those? Thrifted for 40 bucks. <gasps> is that real marble on top yeah. there? Yeah. Yep. It's so cozy and, like, looks it's like okay. a pillow, like a cloud. Yeah. All right, let's go back out to your party space. Excellent. Party! Party space. And you're now very party ready, amazing new kitchen. This is the perfect entertaining space. Wow. So when we got here, your kitchen literally was maybe half of your island, three doorways, everything packed in there, all your appliances. And now, once we opened up all these walls, it makes perfect sense. You've got these lovely built-ins, so you've got a little those. breakfast nook. And it's incredible. MJ built that. Yeah. No way. And designed it. So that's what you've been doing. Yep. <laughs> he hasn't just been shopping. <laughs> Although he has been doing a lot of that. A lot of shopping too. Last big, maybe one of the most incredible spaces. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is I, this is your moment. This is the big one, I know. No. This room. What? I mean, you guys already had the bones of this. This was like why you bought the house, right? right? Yeah. So we didn't have to do much, but this is incredible. I'm blown away. It's the perfect entertaining space. We have the records, the table. It looks amazing. I'm so happy that the house is finally done. I'm so happy you love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to move on to the next project. What's the next project? Who knows? So MJ and Andrew bought this home for $160,000 and had a renovation budget of 60000 
With the cost-cutting measures like EVP flooring in the sunroom and keeping the existing main bathroom vanity, we were able to stay within that budget and this house is worth close to $230,000 now, giving MJ and Andrew $10,000 in equity just from the upgrades they did. And as this neighborhood continues to transition, it'll be a great investment over the long term. I think MJ actually being able to get his hands dirty and having done a lot of the work with us.